Here on the western coast of Scotland, Royal Troon, founded in 1878. To the south, Elsa Craig. To the west, the Isle of Arran, just an Arran boat ride away. The sandy dunes blasted by the wind that comes off the sea. The comforting smell of jet fuel and ozone. The gentle roar of jumbo jets transporting travelers to spots around the globe. Here today, the British Open Championship. Welcome to our final round coverage of the Open Championship. I'm Bruce Rooster Boyster, here at one of the most storied and important tournaments in the sport. So historic, so prestigious, being played this year at Royal Troon Golf Course in Scotland. The story of the tournament so far? Monotonic ASMR. Away from the game for so many years, not expected to contend, yet he's in a four-way tie for the lead, with Spencer Crash, Fortnite Llewellyn Boom, and Reggie Bang. They're all at even par after three rounds played. What an exciting finish we have on our hands here today. 18 holes to determine the winner of this year's Open. Let's send it down to my good friend and fellow booth commentator, Rory Harrison, for an update on the course conditions. We had a wet and windy first two days. The weather yesterday was relatively nice, allowing many of the golfers to clean up their scorecards. Today, mostly sunny, with a strong wind that definitely will factor in to play. It's everything you'd want to see. A beautiful Lynx course, a strong wind, and four terrific golfers battling it out for the win. And as the tradition in Scotland says, there can be only one. We're all set for a sensational finish to the tournament. Get settled in, viewers. Once this one starts, you won't want to move. Hole one, seal. And occasionally you might see one on the rocks along the coast here. A 370 yard par four. Monotonic ASMR to tee off first. And he hits a belter off the tee. Great to see him playing again and striking the ball well. It is amazing to see him play again. Golfers still carried one irons in their bags when he last competed. I used to watch this guy when I was in school. Fortnite Llewellyn Boom, teeing up on the first hole. And Boom follows suit. Is this golf or the world's strongest man competition? They're fighting that wind, so really putting their back into it. It just wouldn't be Scottish Lynx golf without that wind blowing hard. Crash tees off. Puts a nice shot down the fairway, about 250 yards. Reggie Bang's first shot of the day. He doesn't hit it as far, but always puts himself in good areas. Plays the course with his brain as much as his hands. That lack of power can be a disadvantage, but by making fewer mistakes, he's always putting himself in a place to win. He's away. He'll play first.
went with the wedge and more power, but it didn't give him enough. He wish he'd taken more club with the wind. Spencer crash with the nine iron, it looks like. Crisp stroke. And puts himself in a great spot. Well struck. Monotonic lines himself up over this one. It's away. Brilliant shot. The bin needs to meet his new neighbor. Invite him over for a barbecue. That's right next door. Boom. From 80 yards. Well unhappy with that one. Bang, lining up for the little chip onto the green. Oh, that's painful. It just skips out. He would have loved to have that one after missing the green on his second shot. Boom. No fuss, no muss. Sinks it. Crash has no trouble either from almost the same spot. Reggie should keep par here. Cleaning up after his missed chip. Should be an easy birdie for Monotonic. With an approach shot like that, a loud noise could sink it. His fans aren't helping him there. They're almost totally silent. It's true, Monotonic's fans appear almost sedated, whereas the other guys have a raucous party atmosphere brewing on every shot. Monotonic will tee off first here on hole two, called Black Rock. Not happy with that shot at all. He opened with a birdie, but finds the rough along the left edge. He tried to muscle it against the wind, you just need solid contact. You fight it, you're going to lose every time. Like that. Boom just nails it. Sends it almost 280 yards right down the fairway. That majestic stroke reminds me of a Greek statue. The discus thrower or Nike of Samothrace, classical perfection. Crash with his first. He's loading up. And guess what? You were just saying it. Tried to overpower the wind and he's joined monotonic in the rough. Reggie Bang. Well played there. He's not going to take huge chances, but it means he's always in the hunt. Now a second shot. Safely on the green. Spencer Crash playing out of the rough here. Struck very well with an 8 iron. And he's on to the green. A very nice approach shot. Monotonic with a very similar shot. And similar results. Though he still has a bit yet to do. Great fairway lie here. Very, very smooth. It's a joy to watch. Great approach shot there from Boom. Reggie Bang has a very long putt here. 52 feet. Maybe pretty straight. What's it going to do, Rory? It is pretty flat on the green here, which gives him a chance. But it can be difficult to find a sight line. 
It's away. It's going. Would you look at that? You won't see many of those today. ASMR stands over a 34 footer. Maybe a little break on this one. The harder part is watching the guy in front of you knock one in from even farther. This is for birdie. Going left. It falls in. Great putt. The long ones are never easy. A little more than 20 feet here for Spencer Crash. Looking good. Oh, that is agony. He left it right on the rim. At least you're in the danger zone. A little gust of wind and it might have gone in. Crash cleans that up. For birdie. And shockingly, Boom leaves it short as well. No excuse for that one. He's got to get all the way through the ball and give himself a chance. Taps that in for par, which sends us on to hole three here at Troon. This hole is almost 400 yards, but challenging due to the burn. That stream around 280 to 90. You can try to carry it, but you risk getting wet, especially with a headwind like this. The hole called Yaws, meaning drain. They'll be hoping not to drain their scorecards with an errant shot here. And monotonic. Not bad. Rolling up towards the burn there. Bang takes a bit of a risk here. Really getting into that shot. And it rolls up towards the stream, safely on the fairway. Boom sizes it up, the wind strong, in his face, but right to left, coming off the ocean there to starboard. Good shot. No trouble there. With a different wind, he's got the power to go over that, but safely played in these conditions. Crash. Did you hear that? Like the starter pistol at a foot race. I'd say he's headed for the water. Wow, he gets lucky. Tried to bite off more than he could chew, but the wind helps him, and he ends up perfectly placed at the end of that stretch of fairway. About 130 yards to the pin here for Bang. But he doesn't get the distance and the ball rolls back away from the hole. Boom, from nearly the same distance as Reggie Bay. We'll probably aim to the right and let the green do some of the work for him. You do have to be careful there. So easy to roll off the back of a sloped green like this. Would you look at that? You'd be forgiven if you thought that was going in. What a shot. That's why he's the tournament favorite. Who'd bet against him? Monotonic. Going with the wedge. About 125 yards. His lithe limbs swinging like elegant wind turbines, sending that naturally harvested energy down the links. Nicely played approach shot. Such a classic stroke. Just over 100 yards for Spencer Crash. He goes right at the pin, even with the wind. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. He's in a good spot. Reggie Bang has a long putt 
with a tough right to left break. No shame in lag putting this one. Goes for it, but doesn't get the read right. He'll take par on the hole. Monotonic ASMR, eyeing birdie opportunity here. Just trying to read the break. And just gets it to drop. Just. That's luck. Don't let him pretend otherwise. Simple birdie putt for crash here, thanks to that beautiful approach shot. And he's got it. Boom. Sets up for birdie about four cubits from the hole. He could almost breathe on it and make it after that silky approach shot. Nails it. A very nice birdie. Bang. He missed his first putt, but a pretty easy putt there to maintain par. Birdies from Llewellyn Boom and Spencer Crash leave them tied at 2 under. Monotonic has birdied the first three holes to take a one-stroke lead. What a start to this final round. Here on hole four. Monotonic gets a pretty cracking drive with that kind of wind. Finds the fairway more than 300 yards downrange. Now Llewellyn Boom. With a power stroke like the piston in a hot rod motor. A rare miss hit from him. That's way out there in the agricultural zone. They're all trying to muscle the ball with the wind here. They need to settle down and let the club do the work. Spencer Crash. With a workmanlike shot, you can count on it to pay the bills. We watched his apprenticeship as a young man. Now we're seeing his craft as a professional. Reggie Bang from the tee. He put enough power into that shot to cause blackouts all over the grid. Lights out. It's on the fairway. Boom, second shot, playing from a county over. He's hoping a local farmer will come through with a harvester before he plays his shot. Rips into it, but can't get it back on the fairway. No field of dreams there. That first shot left him in the weeds, literally. Very tough to get out when you're bogged down like that. If you want a touchdown, you've got to keep that ball moving down the field. He's getting it done there. 289 yards, 3 wood. Stepped up with confidence and just keeps it on the fairway. Monotonic with his second shot. They're all having to deal with the headwind here. Yeah, he won't be able to reach the green. Didn't look like a great swing, but... It ended up all right for him. Boom, still in the rough. Look at this, raw courage. He pounces on that ball and finds the green from the rough. From the fields of barley to the fields of gold. He's got a birdie chance now. Bang. He'll throw this up in the air with a little lob wedge. With the 
the spin stays on the green about where he landed it, but with plenty of work to do yet. Crash now. Strikes with such delicate violence. Air traffic control just radioed back that it was a perfect approach and landing. You can't turn your back on him. He'll sneak in and blast past you on the scoreboard. Monotonic, 40 yards. Eagle if he were to make it. Not a bad shot. Reggie Bang has a tricky long putt on the fourth green. He didn't find the right line. Makes par. You've got to birdie these par fives to compete, especially since we've seen several so far. Boom. A 20-footer for birdie. Oh, he'll want that back. Can't quite save birdie after his battles in the foliage. About nine feet here. Crash has no trouble with his birdie. His shot onto the green set him up for that. ASMR, from a good position, sinks his putt for birdie. Well, Monotonic has been out of the game. Hasn't been seen on a major stage in years. And yet, here he is, in the lead. He's one of the oldest golfers out there, but he's playing great golf. And if you play great golf, you have a chance. I mean, what a story. His caddy found him in a roadside bar, took him to a diner, got him some coffee and corned beef hash, a good slap to the face, and a few weeks later, he qualified for the Open. Who would have thought? The story continues on Greenan, the fifth hole. A 203-yard par 3. Honors go to Monotonic. Again, first off the tee. A well-played shot onto the green. He went up a club. Really two, probably. And it paid off for him. Crash setting up. What a beautiful shot. Take a pic of that and post it on your Instagram. That was on the money. Tick tock around the clock. Now Fortnite. Crispy, like Chex Mix. Just about lands it in the hole off the tee, but too much on it. Yeah, he needed to get more spin to kill that. It just kept going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Reggie will be feeling the wind in his face. The briny smell of ocean reminding him of the challenges that breeze brings. Good swing. Not bad, but also kept rolling past the hole. Boom, putts first. makes it look easy. You feel he'll want to start asserting himself, lay some pressure on Monotonic, who's gotten off to such a hot start. And here over a very makeable butt. What a dream start. 
birdies on each of the first five holes. You have to wonder, can he keep it going? With his age, it would be easy to see him dropping off as we get deeper into this fourth day. A ten-footer for Reggie Bang. With winds this strong, they start to influence the putt. He compensated well, working with the wind there. This should be straightforward for Spencer. Another birdie, keeping pace with monotonic, one stroke back. Four birdies on that par three. This is a tough crowd. We love seeing stellar golf, but I don't know if the Royal and Ancient will be happy to see so many birdies on a notoriously difficult Lynx course. They might have to revise the course, but the round isn't over yet. They'll be playing a different direction of wind on the way back in. But first, hole six, Turnberry, the longest hole in open championship golf. More than 600 yards, par five. It broke many scorecards the first two days, but we saw birdies yesterday. Monotonic thumps it. Not a bad shot, but not sure that was what he wanted to do. On the fairway, about 300 yards, he'll take that every time. Spencer crash in the driver's seat, the wind really gusting now. They're pointing right. What was he thinking? He'll spend a while searching for that ball. Maybe even take a drop. I don't even think the crowd saw where it landed. Bum rush the speaker that booms. He's pumping up the volume now. Reggie Bang. A solid, safe shot, but not nearly the distance of the other players. That's his game. It's not a power game, which can be an issue, particularly on some of these longer holes. But he's likely to make fewer mistakes as well, and that can be just as important for winning a tournament. Spencer Crash did find his ball. Not a great lie, but there are worse places to be on this course. Needs to be firm here to salvage anything. Got a hold of it, and back on the fairway. Well struck. Bang still has 370 yards to go here. Beautiful swing, right down the center of the fairway. Sent that ball on a magic carpet ride. Llewellyn with the three wood for his second shot. He just want to avoid that bunker up on the right. Should be in a good position to attack the green from there. He will too. He's not afraid to win. Around 320 yards from the hole. Fairway wood. Monotonic makes a solid strike here. I think he'll take that one. Crash just wants to get on the green here after escaping the rough. Which he does. Bang will 
play this with a five iron. Another silky swing that puts him right in the center of the action. Boom, lines up the approach. There's the aggression coming out. Unhappy about those pars and attacking the pin here. He's so good at that. He knows what he wants to do and his swing rarely fails him. Monotonic, pitching on to the green. And like an Olympic gymnast, he sticks the landing. As good as Boom's shot was, that was even better. The judges love it. Brilliant shot, perfectly in reach of the pin. Crash. 25 feet, not an easy one at all. Makes the birdie putt, playing strong. Break out the hurdy gurdy, everyone is making birdies. Now, Reggie Bang has an easy birdie after his great work getting to the green. Boom from close range. Wow. You don't have to stress over putts if you just put the ball next to the hole with your approach shot. So true. He makes it look easy. It's not. Monotonic to answer. Has no trouble with birdie and holding his lead though. You wonder how his mental game is holding up. Eight is coming up. One of the most famous holes in the world. You know he'll be thinking about it. All eyes will be on him then. ASMR will tee up on the 7th. Announcer's curse? Not a great shot. That's exactly what we were saying though. Spencer is keeping pace with Monotonic. Could exploit any missteps. Didn't get great contact there, but he's on the fairway. Fortnite Llewellyn Boom. An authoritative shot. And he's on prime real estate with a great view of the green. Is Thor the Norse god of thunder? That was a lightning strike. Just three strokes back. Very much still in this. And another well-struck ball from Reggie Bang. Crash. Hot shot part two. I don't think there was as much wind there as he thought, and he rolled it long. Not bad, but not great either. Bang, lines up his second. Strokes it well. Right into striking distance for birdie. Boom with the wedge from inside 100 yards. What can you say about that? As good as it gets. Brilliant shot. The ball stopped dead. Positively catatonic. Monotonic. He's birdied every hole exceeded every expectation. And then it's a shocker into the bunker. Didn't give himself a great look from the tee shot and 
then just miss hits it right into the sand. You have to think he's feeling the pressure now. The only advantage he has is that, coming in with no expectations, any kind of a result will be seen as a huge win. True, but only one player takes home the claret jug. He's on the slope up, right below the rim. That's a tough one. Can you even believe that? Luck or skill? I don't know. Form was good. You have to give him that. Saves his scorecard with that one. The other players have to be wondering what it'll take to get him to miss. Spencer, from 15 feet. Not to be outdone, birdies the hole. Pedestrian ten-footer here for a bang. A gimme here for Llewellyn Boom. How did he miss that? They're all starting to feel the pressure. Cleans up for par, but that may be a key swing when Monotonic saves with that chip shot out of the bunker, and he only makes par from a very makeable putt. So Mono leads it, one stroke ahead of Spencer Crash. With the wind being what it is, I'm pretty surprised to see so many birdies. The course is playing surprisingly easy given the wind, though it's almost straight on. And going out is easier than coming in here at Troon. But really, what we're seeing is four players who are rising to the occasion. Look at Monotonic's scorecard, though. Seven straight birdies. I don't know whether they found him at a bar, a nursing home, or an insane asylum. His game is crazy right now. If he hadn't made his comeback, he'd still be among the greats. He's really showing his mettle against these up-and-comers. Certainly one of the most exciting, unexpected, and compelling final rounds we've ever seen here. Can't wait to see how this finishes. And now we move on to hole 8, postage stamp. One of the most famous and challenging holes in all of golf. It's only 134 yards, but... A tough green, well protected by bunkers, and today the wind is left to right across the hole. It's challenging, but he'll be feeling confident after his last shot. What went wrong there? That's the pressure. This is an intimidating hole. If that bunker catches your eye, all of a sudden it becomes your target, like just happened with his shot. Two bunkers in a row. Crash will have his go at it. Too much on it, and that will make life difficult playing on the hill from the rough. It's the shortest hole in the Open Championship. It's not easy to get the ball onto the green here. At least he missed the bunker. Bang, ready? Look at that. A hole of this length? These guys should be able to hit the green in their sleep. On Sunday, it can be a different story. But he just focused on his shot, and he nailed it. Last to tee off here, Llewellyn Boom. Left it a bit long, but still on the green with a chance. Now Monotonic has to play a difficult shot out of the bunker on the left. 
sunk his last bunker shot on seven. Lightning doesn't strike twice, does it? A disappointing shot, nowhere near the hole. Crash, playing out of the rough after missing the green. Very difficult body position uphill here. Given his lie, that's a pretty good shot. One he should be happy with. That's what pros can do in tough situations. Just knocks it in. Now Boom has a 17-footer to gain one on the scorecard. And he sinks it. He's turning it up as the others start to make mistakes. This is the hole to do it on. They'll feel that. Postage stamp. Signed, sealed, delivered. Bang has a short putt here. And he's missed. Should have been a birdie, but sends it just wide. Ouch. No other way to say it. ASMR chipped out of the bunker, five feet away. Can only manage par. Llewellyn Boom, the only one who birdies on the tricky postage stamp eighth hole. It puts him within two strokes of the lead. Mono goes for par, the first hole he's failed to birdie, if you can believe that. He was never going to sustain that. Now it's about damage control, making sure this doesn't turn into a slide or even free fall down the scoreboard. One hole to play on the front nine, the Monk, 423 yard par four. A bit of a dog leg right on this hole, but Boom should feel confident here. He's finally leading off after a great birdie on the eighth. But he gets a bad bounce and finds the edge of the rough. ASMR off the tee, wind pushing briskly right to left. He seems to be feeling the effects of that last hole, finds nothing but rough. That's no way to stop the bleeding. Spencer has finally seen monotonic falter. If he plays it cool, this may be his chance to seize the lead. His shot just sticks on the fairway. All of these players are still in the race though. Smooth, crisp, and most importantly, accurate. Reggie puts it right in the center of the fairway. Don't make the game harder on yourself if you don't have to. Play high percentage shots. His second now from about 160 yards out. Hit nicely, but he can't find the green. Mono has to play his second from a challenging lie, going uphill from the rough. Maybe putting the par in parabola. Audacious to drive the green from there, but he made it. Long putt to manage, however. Llewellyn is just off the fairway here. The lie shouldn't be too bad.
Look at that, Rory. That's why he's so good. In the rough, didn't flinch, shot a perfect approach right into a nice putting distance. If you're a young person learning to golf, just watch this guy. Crash, playing a nine iron here. Safely on the green. Reggie Bang at the edge, but he does have the wedge out. Just misses that short little chip. He wished he'd been on the green to start. 18 feet. Crash makes light work of that birdie putt. Finely crafted, like a Fabergé egg. Mono from 13 feet, a bit of break. Didn't read that right at all. Off on pace and line. Boom for an easy birdie. He's starting to accelerate his game. Monotonic. Saves par, but gives up the outright lead. Bang just knocks it in for par. So after nine holes, a tie at seven under for a crash in Monotonic. Boom didn't quite keep pace on birdies, but brings himself into contention on those last couple holes. Surely he'll be the favorite to win over the next nine, just as he was the favorite coming in. I wouldn't rule out crash either. Everyone is excited to see Monotonic, not just back in the game, but competing at the top. The odds makers are realistic about his chance of holding on though. Still, craft can really pay off in golf. Reggie Bang playing a strong game, not quite matching pace with the leaders on that first nine. A scintillating nine holes played. Monotonic leads along with Spencer Crash, tied at a shocking seven under. Fortnite Llewellyn Bloom is just one stroke back, everything still to play for. Now, a word from our sponsors before we continue our coverage of the Open Championship. Rest in Digitations, ASMR Street Magic. Have you ever felt the tingles? No, not that kind. I'm talking about sonic relaxation. Let me show you an example. Finger flutters. An ordinary egg. A simple egg, which I will now crack on your head.
produce for you. An ordinary coin, an ancient gold doubloon such as anyone might carry in their pocket. Here is the coin. You can see nothing on my sleeve. Nothing up my sleeve, nothing up my sleeve, nothing up my sleeve, the coin, and then it's gone. Finger flutter, show, I'm not holding the coin. Where did the coin go? Wait a minute, could it have, is it possible, the coin might I think it did. I think it's in your ear. Yes, I think it is. You must have very deep ear canal. Down in there. You've got a hold of it. Yeah. Just pull it out. That's amazing. They're so relaxed right now, I could pull an anvil out of their ear and they wouldn't even notice. That's ASMR for you. Preston Digitation's ASMR Street Magic. Magician's tip all ventriloquists are liars. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm A.B. Firstelbrenner, host of The Morning Show on 98.7 KSMR, Jazz Up Your Java, the only avant-garde jazz and unusual sound show on your dial. Today I want to talk to you about a special offer on the newest entry in our Sonic Somnambulism series, The Sounds of the Pepper Mill as well as the sounds of pepper. Act now and get this compact disc for just $19.95. That's right, $19.95. $3 off the normal retail price of $22.95. This audio experience includes the sounds of grinding, tapping, and shaking, as well as sounds created by individual peppercorns. All colors of the spicy pepper rainbow are represented. Delicious aroma not included at this time. This offer is only available for a limited time. So get the sounds of the pepper mill as well as the sounds of pepper for just $19.95. And join me at 6 a.m. Monday through Friday for Jazz Up Your Java, featuring snooze to the groove every 11th Thursday. And remember, the early bird gets the earworm. I'm Sleen Slotkin, here on Channel 4, KSMR. Join me at 10 p.m. for the best in local news, sports, and sleep-inducing content. Our coverage of the British Open begins now. Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Open Championship. With nine holes played in round four, Monotonic jointly leads with Spencer Crash at a surprising 7-under. Betting favorite, Fortnite Llewellyn Boom, is just one stroke back. Reggie Bang is still in the hunt at 4-under, with other challengers giving up strokes early. One of these four will undoubtedly win the tournament. Let's jump right into the action. We're on hole 10, a tricky one. Pray to whatever power you believe in, because you have no earthly control on this hole. You have to clear those dunes off the tee, 
and the way the wind comes over them creates a vortex. I don't want to get deep into the hydrodynamics, but it's like trying to hit your ball through the Hoover Dam slough. Speaking of answered prayers, it looks like we're off to a cracking start for the back nine. Boom mashed that, but only landed himself in the rough. Some guys, you don't want to turn down their aggression, because it's what makes them so good. But I'm not sure what he wanted out of that. An easier drive puts him in a much better position to make the green. As you said, this is a very tricky hole, given that it's a blind shot over those dunes. Spencer does well to find the fairway. That's exactly the shot you're looking for. Almost 470 yards. You know, crash and boom, they hit with a loud thwack, an almost ear-splitting noise, whereas monotonic seems to caress the ball, but it still has great power. That's technique for you. You can turn it up to 11 and hit some powerful shots, but a course like this is going to test you in all areas, and without finesse and an ability to deliver on the well-trimmed patch around the hole, you aren't going to win. So true. And Reggie Bang plays well, onto the fairway. He's away for the second. His aim was good, but he had way too much behind that. It hit the green and kept on rolling. It was like a freight train. You can't stop it. Spencer Crash, opting for the 6-iron from about 180 yards. Same problem. You need to fit brakes on that ball if you're going to hit it that hard. Boom, playing out of the rough. Sometimes it's worth the risk to go longer, but this is a tough hole filled with limited sight lines. He didn't gain himself a lot with such a risky shot. Long again. With the wind at his back, that was way too much club. ASMR from 160 pulls the 8 iron from the bag. What were you saying about Crafty? With some of these young guys, ego can work against them. They want that sensational shot. Playing a little shorter and avoiding mistake can work in your favor. Mono did a pretty solid job there of just making the green. Bang stands over a long putt. His ball will have to go through customs and immigration to reach the hole. It's an ocean away. Too much on it. Denied entry. That's where sending it long made the putt very difficult. Crash from almost as far, 30 feet maybe. Can't sink the long putt either. Takes away his birdie, but par should be no trouble. Boom has work to do as well. 
long putt, but you feel like he always knew that was going in. Sensational. He'll love marking that down on the scorecard. This is a titanic battle on the back nine. Unlike the titanic though, these players will be hoping their putts are sinkable. Icebergs ahead for Monotonic. All that work for the opportunity and he misses an easy putt. Everyone misses now and then, but you'd expect him to make that. Bang, still with a 10 foot putt to save par. But he's able to sink it. Never really in doubt there. And Crash also comes away with par. Monotonic ASMR just cleans up the mess there, and will rue an opportunity wasted. This is where the game gets tough. You're starting to tighten up on the back nine of the open. If you don't have the nerves, forget it. Now a three-way tie for first after Monotonic led through the first nine holes. The Railway, hole 11, 488 yard par 4 with the train tracks running along the right edge. These are the holes where we see golfers start to make mistakes. Boom to tee off. Well, you put the ball up there, that wind will take it. It looks like he wanted to catch the Hogwarts Express. It's a tough course. Crash now. Get some help from the wind and settle some 300 yards down the fairway. Well, he didn't hop a train like some Depression-era hobo, but a terrible shot nonetheless. He must have heard that whistle blow. What can Bang do with it? Not bad. Boom will play again from the tee after his ride on the rails. What is he thinking there? That's got to be a bit of stubbornness, convincing himself he can hit that shot. Needs to settle down and get himself back in play. He didn't listen to you, Rory. He hammers it again, but this time it finds the fairway and not the southbound to Houston Station. He's in play, but five strokes in off the tee. It's madness. Reggie sets up almost 200 yards out. Looks like a five hybrid in his hand. Oh my, another shot that just vaults past the hole and keeps going. Got to get more spin and keep those shots in the same area code as the one they land in. Monotonic has some work to do on the railroad. Doesn't get a good connection out of that tall grass there and can't find the green. Crash set himself up well on the fairway. A five iron. Well played with a decent chance for birdie. Rory. He 
seems determined to ignore that wind. And he's just about getting away with it. That was a nice approach shot after his wayward drives. Mental focus huge here when the hull starts to get away from you. Monotonic sets up for a short chip. Misses the hole and quite a bit of roll down the green. Bang again has left himself with a very tough long putt due to an overcooked approach shot. Yeah, he's just making the game harder. Best to two putt this and try to dial in on the next hole. Not bad, but he'll need to clean that up on the next one. An 11 footer to seal par. Not a good putt at all, and he knows it. Crash. Birdie. Like a skilled butcher breaking down a carcass, he's slicing through the opposition. Llewellyn Boom has this for a triple bogey after two shots catapulted over the railroad tracks. He's in the hole and can move on to the next one. No sense ever thinking of this hole again. Bang strokes home for par. And Mono bogeys that hole, leaving him at minus six. How quickly fortunes can change. Boom was charging ahead, but triple bogeys that hole. Mono bogeys, and Crash simply makes another birdie to seize the outright lead. I said not to go to sleep on him. He's not making sensational plays, but if you birdie that regularly, you're going to win. Monotonic, a bit of a fan favorite, I think a lot of people liked seeing him on top of that leaderboard. No doubt the guy's a winner. We've seen that in the past, and everyone loves a comeback story. But these other players have been facing tournament pressure week in, week out for years, and he simply hasn't. You can't rule him out, but realistically, he's got a steep hill to climb. Seven holes to go and who will emerge victorious remains to be seen. Spencer Crash on the tee at 12. An uneventful, functional play. If Reggie Bang is going to get in the mix, he needs to make a move quickly. I agree. He's playing well, but you have to be exceptional to win tournaments. Monotonic. There's that swing we used to see all those years ago. Crisp, smooth. As simple as can be. Reminds me of Tom Watson a bit. He just strikes the ball and more often than not, it lands where he needs it to. Watson, possibly the greatest Lynx player of all time. No doubt. Had tremendous luck in Scotland, including that wonderful win here in 77. Llewellyn Boom, firm grip on the driver. Expected to win. We'll be feeling some frustration falling three strokes back. Still in it, though. Wow. Just completely unafraid after that last hole. Powering it in, swing after swing. Crash grabs the hybrid.
puts it in the channel, just waiting for the harbor pilot to steer it into port. Monotonic ups for the 5 iron. He's going straight into the wind here. Can't make the green. Reggie Bang also goes with the 5 iron. And he has no trouble finding the green. A nice easy swing. He let the club do the work for him. And Boom puts himself even closer to the pin. Crash chipping onto the green. Very nicely played. Can't make birdie on the chip, but that's an easy par. ASMR has a similar chip. But he sends it well past the hole. Reggie has another monumental putt. 47 feet. That's nearly half a parsec. I'm starting to think he likes hitting from that distance. They are tough to sink from there though, aren't they? That they are. Boom also has a long birdie putt. Beautiful line. How did that miss? Sensational putt, but didn't deliver at the end. Oh, and that's an awkward miss for par. That'll be a bogey. Monotonic from short range. Escapes with par. Bang. Rattled now. Misses an easy par putt. Like Odysseus, the ball just can't seem to make it home. Ends with a surprising bogey. Boom again. Just grabs the side of the hole and takes a bogey. Crash. A tap in, basically. A bad miss from close range. They're all afraid of the bogeyman. Drops a stroke on 12. That leaves Boom and Bang tied at 3 under. While Crash holds the outright lead 7 under. Monotonic, one stroke behind. Surprising after Boom seemed to be on a run. Really paid for that triple bogey on 11. Moving on to the 13th, the 479 yard Burma. I think everyone knows the story by now. Rescued from a roadside bar by his caddy. Whipped back into shape and here he is competing for the Open Championship. Even if he doesn't win, that he's playing here at all. And especially given how well he's played, that's a win all on its own. It's something we can feel good about. There are real life stories that have good endings. Just thrilled to see him back on the course. It's tough to say whether you'd call him one of the greats, given his career seemed to have ended so soon. But there's no doubt the man can play the game of golf. No doubt and that he's keeping place with some of the best in the world right now. I mean, the whole sport wins. At this point, there is no getting up to go to the bathroom. You're going to stay in your seat watching this movie to the end. Plays that pretty well off the tee. Crash.
sends it right down the fairway like a marching band parading down Main Street. Bang is really going for it here. He's got to. Very well played. And another monster drive from Boom. Pedal to the metal. Drive it like you stole it. Crash, 5 iron, about 180 yards. On the green, but rolls away from the pin. ASMR will play this with a 7 iron. He'd like that closer to the pin, but overall a pretty good shot. Reggie Bang puts himself in a great position. Boom has a 9 iron. Wow, giving himself a chance. Textbook. Monotonic stands over a 23 footer. Well, he brought the money, but the feds showed up and the buy doesn't go through. He might regret that later. Spencer, 21 feet for birdie. Monotonic's miss means he can extend his lead. He's done it. Even Judge Smalls would rule that a great putt. He brings the gavel down with authority. With that, he's going to be hard to beat. There just aren't many holes left. Twelve foot, breaking right to left. Boom badly needs this birdie. And he gets it. Still well back from the leader, Crash. Reggie Bang, just eight feet to birdie. He's just lost his feel on the putts, hasn't he? Yeah, I think it's gotten to him. That's several missed putts in a row. A few holes back, would you have predicted this? You can't predict anything today. It makes for thrilling golf. But you have to wonder if Crash hasn't set himself up for the win here. Certainly playing well as others continue to drop shots. Alton, the 14th. Distance? A Carl Spackler 8-iron at 190 yards. Spencer Crash, the outright leader. In trouble straight away, finding the bunker to the right and just short of the green. Golf is an exercise in head-banging frustration. Even the pros can't hit the ball straight. Whether you win or lose is based on whether you can swallow the anger and punishing inner narrative and keep moving that ball towards the hole. It's a war of attrition. Total war. The question remains, who will salt the fields of their enemy? The man expected to do so before the tournament started, Llewellyn Boom, tees off with a 5-iron. 
Too much power stays on the green, but just monotonic. Would you look at that? He nearly puts it in the hole off the tee. Great shot. Rolled a bit, but stopped soon enough for a great look at Birdie. Bang opting for a four iron. Well hit, but a little too much roll there. Falling away from the others now. Spencer Crash has a difficult shot. Playing out of the bunker and 30 yards to the pin. Yeah, this will be a tricky one for him. On the slope and a high lip in front of him. He gets it up, but rolls past the hole. All things considered, that was a decent shot. Now Boom has a long putt to try for Birdie. Can't quite sink it. That's always going to be tough. He'll take the par. Yeah, but you know he wanted more from that hole. Bang, a 16-footer. And there he's found the hole. Just barely, but it caught the rim and dropped in. Monotonic and cage a birdie here. Would you look at that? Well played off the tee and seemed confident on the putt, right back in contention. Crash to stay at 8 under. A shocker. Missing from that range, giving up his lead. This is setting up a sensational finish. Crash and Mono tied at 7 under. Boom and bang tied at four under. My mouth is watering at the prospect of these last few holes. It's going to go right down to the wire. Monotonic will kick things off on Crosby, the 500 yard par four 15th hole. You have to show some respect for the ball. He absolutely clobbered it. Like a lead pipe to the back of the head. He's furiously cleaning up blood off the fairway before the cops arrive. Bang, back at the scene of the crime, we'll have his go. You can tell these guys are feeling the energy from the crowd. Just absolutely swinging for the fences. Home run derby out there. Boom. Grab the red phone and let the Russians know everything is okay. Their radar warning nets just recorded an ICBM launch. After hearing the sound of that thing, I'm headed for the air raid shelter. Crash with his finger on the button. You think Ego is coming into it now? No doubt. You see these guys hitting those rockets off the tee. You can't help but want to swing with them. It's all on the line here, and they are going for it. This is golf at its best. 
It's explosive, dynamic, almost maniacally unhinged. Hope you've made popcorn, because this is something to watch. Bang, perhaps feeling environmentally conscious, grabs the hybrid. A bit of a crosswind on this hole, just carries him right of the pin, and a little too much juice on it. Just a 7 iron for boom here. Slides it past the hole. Crash from 170 yards, his second. I know his heart stopped on that shot because mine did. So close to holding that. Amazing. Monotonic from about the same distance. Not exactly served up on a platter, but he'll be hungry for that putt. Now Reggie sets up from 26 feet. Fabulous. If he'd sunk more of those, he'd be right in the thick of it. You don't want to be trying to win on those long putts, though. The odds are against you. Boom should have no trouble finishing this for Birdie. There it is. Put himself in a great position and delivered the goods. Mono, just an eight foot putt here. Smoothly away. Needs to keep his concentration and he does so. He's really giving himself a chance and you can hear how much the fans love it. Crash, right next to the hole, after a sensational approach shot. No trouble with the birdie on that one. He was hoping a gust of wind might have finished it off for him. An eagle there surely would have sealed it. All four players birdie that hole, leaving the scorecard right where we left it. Mono and Crash tied for the lead. Hole 16, well, 560 yards. A long, tough hole, isn't it, Rory? Your first shot needs to lay short of the burn. Then you have a challenging approach. The green is like the keep in a sandcastle. Oh, that's brutal. ASMR ignored what you said about laying up, right into the water, like a turtle headed to the sea that was always going in. V naught T plus one half AT squared. The ball is ruled by physics. It was never going anywhere else. I did all right in high school physics, but throw in the wind and you're dealing with derivatives. I couldn't keep up. Look. If you can't solve a set of linear equations, you don't belong in the game at this level. It's a spiritual game as well. Sure, if you're not playing for the championship. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line in the opposite direction, if you will. He's going to have to reshoot that. Just when you thought he was in the match, that's a bad, bad strike. Bang, ready to give it a go. About as far forward as you can play it without going for a swim. 
Boom. He's going for this. Can he do it? Would you look at that? He catapulted that ball, and not only did it clear the water, it landed on the fairway. To hit that kind of shot this late in the tournament, well, it tells you everything about his confidence in himself. With that kind of handiwork, he ought to sell crafts at the street fair. Spencer Crash, the last of the four to tee off, joint leader. What was he thinking there? He didn't commit. He doesn't have the power to drive over that like Fortnite Llewellyn did, but he didn't play it short either. He didn't get wet, but he's still in the rough. After a bit of conversation with the stewards, Monotonic will hit the tee shot again. His caddy isn't even watching, which tells you something. He is start to think of Roy McAvoy at the U.S. Open. And that's not a good thing. You've got to accept when your plan doesn't work and at least give yourself a chance. Maybe trying too hard to recapture something he's lost. I don't know how he missed this dream again, but he's in the rough. He's punishing himself needlessly here. A lot of fans would like to see Reggie win a big tournament like this, but it seems he's faded a bit in this final round. He's hardly put a foot wrong other than overshooting some of the greens. If he'd kept those balls closer to the hole, he'd be right in this. Right now, he needs the other players to make mistakes, and that's not the situation you want to be in. His destiny in his hands here as he plays from the fairway. Well, folks, I believe we lost the feed there, so we'll need to fill you in on a rather unbelievable moment. Crash played his shot from the rough and landed just short of the green. He was almost standing on Monotonic's ball. Apparently, the language used in the conversation between ASMR and his caddy forced us to cut away. He demanded a driver playing from the rough and his caddy justifiably denied the request. We have the replay here. He put it in the water with his first and nearly did the same with his second. Then he demanded his driver. He had to fight his caddy for it. You know the easy button? He pushed the self-destruct button instead. Monotonic hits with the driver out of the rough and puts himself on the green. That's the shot of the tournament. You just don't do that. Sensational. But Boom went sensible with a three wood and put the ball in the airy, looking for an eagle. He'll take comfort seeing Monotonic lose his mind. Spencer Crash. He's been ranked as high as number two in the world, doing so well today, and here again nearly eagles but his chip carries him well past the hole. Reggie Bang has an almost carbon copy attempt for Eagle. He gets it even closer, but again rolls well past the hole. Monotonic ASMR. How is he even on the green? That was one of the wildest shots I've ever seen. No rational man hits that ball with a driver, but here he is putting for par after finding the water off the tee. And that's disappointing. As Hobbes said, men heap together the mistakes of their lives into a monster they call destiny. It's been a long haul. You wonder if he hasn't finally hit the wall. 
That bogey won't sit well in the stomach with only two holes to play. Crash has a 13-footer, but there won't be a lot of break. It's no trouble, and he surely seals the win with that birdie putt. Like a mountaineer, he hammers in another piton climbing that leaderboard. Reggie Bang. And he gets his birdie. A just reward for a solid play leading up to that putt. Now boom for Eagle. Sensational. Eagles are about as rare on the course this week as a pass in F1 these days. Incredible. At a critical point in the round. That puts him right in there for the win. He took a huge risk with the tee shot and it paid off. Crash in command. Only two holes remain. A par three and a par four. There isn't much room for anyone to take those two strokes off him. He's been playing supremely well. He's in the driving seat now. On to the 17th, Rabbit. Named for the denizens who remain despite the lawnmowers and vengeful greenskeepers. Boom eagled 16, giving himself a sliver of a chance. Oh my, he's way overshot that. Needed to hit the green, but the wind got beneath his wings on that one. Now he's lying in the rough. It's a short hole, but well over 200 yards. Bang opting for the driver. He ran right off the back, too. Too much club for the wind. Crash, now the outright leader. He's been playing so well, but he'll regret that. Just too much on it. Monotonic. Two strokes back with two holes to play. He's watched the others overshoot and gone with a hybrid. He's been away from the game, but that's experience working in his favor. Took a little bit less club, and he's right on the green. You can still win a game of golf through craft. The sport has gotten more athletic, but that's not everything. You still have to put the ball in the hole to win. Bang for his second, from the rough. Crisply played, but as the ball likes to do on this course, keeps rolling. Not bad, but not the shot he wanted either. Boom sizes up his birdie opportunity, chipping out of the rough. Delivers a solid play. Crash now. All three have played from the rough on this side of the green. Surely he's won out. Drops in the tin cup, but for him it might as well be sterling silver engraved with his name on it. The diva is ready to sing. Unbelievable shot. Monotonic on the green, aiming for birdie. He's got that putt, but still two strokes behind and only one hole to play. I think we've all been hoping for the fairy tale ending, but he should know by now that fairy tales are for children. 
time to grow up. The cynicism of adulthood, an important step on life's journey. Bang takes par. The eagle from Spencer changed everything. Hope dwindles. Boom for par. Knocks it in. Three strokes back from the lead. Just a sensational chip from Crash. It puts him two ahead with only one hole to play. I think Mono thought he might have a crack at him, but that must seal it. That's a vacuum seal, airtight. Crash just put in birdie after birdie, and a little bit of luck sees him in total control going into this last hole. 488 yards on a par 4 to complete the round. Crash at an unbelievable 10 under, leading the pack. He's on the fairway, but won't like that. He's got plenty of cushion here, though. He doesn't need to sweat it. Monotonic. The final hole. He's got to go for it, right? He'd have to ask himself, dying in his bed, many years from now, if he wouldn't give it all up for one more chance to win the Open. Absolutely, you go for it. He carried that 320-some yards. Until everyone is in the clubhouse, it just isn't over. If you're going to give yourself any chance at all, you've got to get on the green with alacrity, as they might say. Now Boom steps up to the plate, bottom of the ninth inning. I felt the shockwave from that up here in the booth. Permission to buzz the tower is granted. That thing was supersonic. As Guile would say, sonic boom. From boom. Finally, Reggie. And he sends it more than 300 yards. This is a clash of the titans. You just love seeing big hits in this game though. This isn't just punch counter punch. This is when your teammate enters the ring with a folding chair. He's away. Again a bit long. Finding himself at the edge of the green. At least he's on it. Now Crash for his second shot. Just needs to play a solid hole and the open is his. The game isn't over. He needs to keep his head, but he's in a strong position. No reason to overthink it. Oh my! What just happened? Shanked it. The 18th hole can be so tough, staring into those grandstands. Yep, he's letting the pressure get to him. He can still salvage the hole and the win. Fortnite Llewellyn Boom, 9 iron, 140 yards. He likes it, crisp, competent but a bit of a long putt for Birdie. Monotonic has a very similar shot to Boom. Pitching wedge. Giving himself a chance. Spencer Crash came into the hole with a two-stroke lead. 
then sliced his second shot so badly it hit the grandstand. He'll have this to get on the green. Par still gives him the win, most likely. Oh, that's heartbreaking. He has it in hand, but another slice to the right. He's on the edge of the green, but this isn't how you want to end your round. I'm reminded of William Blake. For the chaotic voids outside of the stars are measured by the stars, which are the boundaries of kingdoms, provinces, and empires of chaos invisible to the vegetable man. He'll seek to avoid the chaotic void with a chip onto the green now. Rory, you almost want to avert your eyes. Yeah, it's too hard to watch. He had it in hand and that's three poor shots in a row. This final hole, with the tournament on the line, Every one of these golfers is feeling the pressure, and now it feels possible, just maybe possible. Boom will want to capitalize, but this is a 25-footer. That was his chance. It looked good, but just broke there at the end. That's gotta be painful. He knows he could have had that. Monotonic stands over a 23-footer. This would be for a share of the lead. You simply couldn't write this script if you tried. He'd be in the playoff for the win if he sinks this. It looks pretty straight to my eye. Just about. There is some right-to-left break. It looked like a clean hit, but rolls wide. Golf is neither horseshoes nor hand grenades. Close doesn't count. Crash just needs to sink this and bring the matter to an end. This is a shocker. A few holes ago we were discussing a fairy tale ending for monotonic. Then Crash seemed to have taken complete control. Now he can't seem to hit the ball right with the tournament on the line. At this point I'm a nihilist. I don't know what to believe. Well, the focus is on Crash right now, but Bang lined himself up for birdie, and he nails it. Crash looking at double bogey, and potentially a tie for first. Can you imagine throwing away a two-stroke lead on the final hole and with no real pressure other than the moment his biggest challengers took par on this hole? That's a Chernobyl-level meltdown and it means we're going to a tiebreaker between Spencer Crash and monotonic ASMR for whom the dream continues. The tiebreaker round. The championship will be decided by stroke play on holes 1, 2, 17, and 18. I'll be honest, I don't think anybody wanted this to be over. Crash probably did, but for fans of the game, yeah. This is great golf, and I can't wait to see who wins. Mono a mano, 1v1 for the tournament. It's incredible. Mono a mano. Nice pun there. He'll tee off first. Look at the power he put on that. Just fueled by all the fires of hell. It's leaving a burn mark on the turf. And fuego. A shot like that really says... Come at me, bro. But 
Crash doesn't take the bait, plays a nice solid shot. You've got to play your own game. Put your shots in a place where you feel confident to attack. He's taking a wedge here, hoping to send that ball nice and high to sit on the green. Braving the wind. Well struck and onto the green nicely. Probably around 15 feet to the hole from there. It's not a bad place to be. Monotonic stands over an eagle opportunity. Pitching just under 40 yards or thereabouts. He'll be tempted to go straight for the hole. It's not a bad option here if he can get the ball up in the air. The screen isn't as dangerous as some, though he could risk rolling back off. Nicely played, a chance at birdie. Crash with a birdie putt. A bit of break left to right, with the wind blowing the opposite direction. That looks like it's going wide. Never online. The frustration visible. No blemish on the scorecard, but he'd rather have a birdie there. Settle the nerves and move on. Mono's chip left him eight feet from the hole. Very calmly strokes it in. His stroke is almost mesmerizing. Smoothly back and forth, back and forth. Hypnotic even and he uses his magic to take a one-stroke lead on the first hole of the playoff. How sensational is it that he's playing this tiebreaker? A chance to win the Open after all those years wandering in the wilderness. Still three holes to play, moving on to the second. Rory, hole two. You've got to play your shot very straight here. This is like assaulting the Siegfried line. Absolutely riddled with bunkers. Monotonic didn't get as much on that one. Nicely seated in the fairway though. You'd pay good money for that kind of seat. Crash had the game in hand and it got away from him. It was his to lose and to be honest, he did. Just needed a clean par on the 18th to win, and he dropped strokes. He has a good chance in the playoff, though. You just wonder if Mono has any gas left in the tank. It's not a knock. I've been there. But you just don't have the same energy as you do when your crash is age. Driver drawn from the sheath. Blasts it, totally unafraid. The stewards may check his club after the round to see if he has a laser sight attached. If this were Call of Duty, that'd be a headshot. He's a sniper. He charged those bunkers, like a private risking his life for the Silver Star. Mono. Not a bad shot, but... Maybe a little less energy in the legs? Doesn't quite get where he wants to be on that green. Who could forget 2009 when Tom Watson had the chance for his sixth open and faded during the playoff to a much younger Stuart Sink? We might be seeing a similar scenario. A fan favorite losing out to a younger, though very talented, player. Crash, looking to build on his great tee shot. Puts it on the green. He wanted to be closer, but he's on the green. That will help with any nerves. Mono, a long putt at 34 feet. He's out on the ragged edge here, probing the boundary of the very limits of human knowledge. He'll need to account for time dilation on a putt traveling this far through space. Checks the coordinates and launches it. The hole sucked that ball in like it was caught in the gravity well of a black hole. Unbelievable. That was beyond stellar. That was interstellar. The feel on that stroke, just marvelous. If he wins, it'll be moments like this that stand out. 
crash. That's a shocker. He leaves it short. Cardinal sin there. That was a putt with almost no break, but he didn't give it the stick. Is experience a factor here? You start to wonder, given how he finished 18 and started in this playoff. Mono two strokes ahead and only two holes to play in this tiebreaker playoff. Crash has a lot to do. His final round finish didn't leave him feeling confident. Whereas Mono was a bit lucky to hang on, yet here he is and in possession of a two-stroke lead as we go to the 17th. Mono flipped the tables in the extra innings, now in a strong position going into the penultimate hole, two strokes ahead. Playing the par 3, 17, 230 yards, a bit into the wind, left to right across the hole. Doesn't like the shot, but he gets on the green. Crash. Needs a birdie to close up the gap here. He'd been playing great all day. Just needs to keep his head and he'll have a chance. Spectacular shot. Puts himself in a deadly position. That's the kind of hit you need. Get the distance right and leave yourself with a reasonable chance for the putt. Mono has a 38 foot putt here. Has the wind to deal with. He'll want bifocals for a putt this long. It's a tricky read. The break here is really snaky, back and forth. And it slithers just past the hole. That's a difficult putt. He's done well to get close. Crash, putting into the wind. Definitely will have break on the putt. Going left to right here. This is makeable for him. He needs to hold this and put the pressure on monotonic. Take him out of the oven. Surely he's done. He'll be two strokes back with only one hole to play. That was crucial. The miss from 18 in regulation play must be on his mind. It doesn't bode well. Monotonic stands over a tap-in. That will give him par and keep him two strokes ahead. Unbelievable. You just don't miss that kind of putt at this level. I feel like I'm in the electric chair. What a shock. The match was his. You called it a shocking bogey. A hair dryer in the bathtub. That's a serious jolt. You have to sink those putts, though. Pressure will be on for the final hole. Now a chance for Crash. He'll lead off the tee on the final hole of this playoff, the 18th here at Beautiful Troon. He'll need a birdie and then hope Monotonic goes awry. A lot to ask, but given what we've seen, easily possible on this 488-yard par 4. Hailing from England... Spencer Crash has considerable support from the crowd, but Monotonic certainly benefiting from the role of fan favorite. Lots of people want to see his comeback succeed. It's a terrific story, but either of these two would be a deserved champion. What a sensational tournament we've seen, and right down to the wire in the playoff. Good heavens, Rory. He absolutely lays into the ball. In it to win it. Laying on the hickory for the victory. He has to win this hole and he's smashed it down the fairway. He's set the tone. Monotonic will have to rise to the occasion if he wants to hold on here. ASMR. So calm and composed. No real hesitation. Steps up and strikes the ball smoothly, almost relaxing to watch the way his swing glides through the golf ball. Not as far as Crash, but 
in a great position about 200 yards from the hole. The shot went according to plan, and that's what he needs right now. Monotonic goes for the five hybrid, wind coming strongly left to right, aiming for the green. He'll want to stay on, so easy to run off these greens. Like an adrenaline-addicted open-heart surgeon, wielding the chest spreader to carve right into the heart of the green. To win the championship, you need shots like that. That was textbook. That'll end up on YouTube being viewed over and over again. Really ratcheting up the pressure with that shot. Crash steps up to the ball wielding a five iron. A touch closer than monotonic. He knows he has to make that green. He plays that perfectly. But I believe monotonic is inside him on the green. These men are awaited in Valhalla. Two fantastic shots to find the green on the critical playoff hole. Spencer Crash lines up for his birdie opportunity. A 21 foot putt just slightly uphill. He needs to hold this to give himself the chance to win. Really taking his time on the read. He conferred with his caddy, then continues to review the shot. You almost wonder if he's overthinking, given how smoothly he's been playing. Without a birdie here, his chances will be slim. Needs to pick up one stroke on Monotonic. This is what you want to see. A putt for the marbles. The chance to win his first major. To write himself into the history books at stake. More than that, this is the kind of shot that will determine his worth as a human being. He'll be staring down his inner demons. All the wrong turns in his life will be screaming in his ear. Made mistakes under pressure on 18 in regulation. Is this when it all comes apart? As Nietzsche said, you stare into the abyss long enough and it stares back. The abyss is staring at him right now. He succumbed to the call of the yawning void. The putt doesn't break much, but it's enough to miss. You can have every intention in the world, but the impact of the putter with the ball will determine where the ball ends up. For Spencer Crash, it ends up on the green, and he's looking at par instead of birdie. The mental game is everything, isn't it? He had the chance to win on 18 in regulation, and badly missed on the green. Monotonic missed the easy putt on the last hole, so nothing is certain yet. What a story. Monotonic ASMR. This former greenskeeper, after years of absence, has given himself a chance to win the Open. Tears in his eyes, probably. Talk about a redemption story. This is salvation. Rising from the dead. It's basically biblical. Apocryphal, at least. If he sinks this putt, it's his. Amazingly, if he two putts, it's still his. Talk about an insurance policy. It makes this putt so much easier knowing he has a second chance. At his age, it's almost unbelievable. He's put himself in this position played a brilliant outward nine, knocking aside some incredible challengers. We've been so close to storybook finishes in the past, but this time, we just might get one. I can't wait to turn the page. The excitement is palpable. It makes me want to skip ahead to read the ending first. Eleven feet. We'll break to the left. Normally plays quickly, yet never seems in a hurry, taking his time here, charting precisely the path of that putt, like a cartographer sketching the lay of the land onto the parchment, almost like he's measuring every blade of grass. The putt is 
out his way. That was always going in, wasn't it? It's like the ball wanted to go home. His approach shot gave him a great attempt, and unfazed by the pressure, Cooley sank the putt. It's Nietzsche all right, but more like Superman. And these greens were nearly his kryptonite. I'm at a loss for words. Rare for you. Crash thought he had it, but I'm going to say it. I believe that claret jug belongs to Mr. Monotonic. They can finally etch his name on the jug after that roller coaster ride. Sensational. Just sensational. What an unbelievable golf tournament. Monotonic ASMR holds out against Spencer Crash to win the claret jug. We rarely get such a thrilling finish. It's trite to say golf wins on a day like this, but really humanity wins on a day like this. The quiet challenger emerged from the chaotic dogfight to take a well-deserved victory. We have his greenside remarks now. I'm speechless. Literally. I wrote a speech, but I left it back at the hotel. It's just an unbelievable win. Huge kudos to Spencer for playing such incredible golf, taking this all the way down to the wire. Really all the guys, they were tough to beat. But most of all, I want to say thank you to the fans. You know, I've been away a while, I've embraced my return. I've been more supportive, enthusiastic than ever. And that means everything. So I just want to say thanks to the fans. A great win. Gracious words from a worthy champion. A former winner who disappeared into the darkness that resides in each of us who found the light again and delivered the fairy tale ending. ASMR triumphs over crash, boom, and bang in a win for the ages. Spencer Crash didn't win, but he can find consolation in the fact that he played terrific golf, put himself in a position to win, and was a worthy runner-up. Wouldn't you agree, Rory? I'm afraid not. This loss will haunt him for the rest of his days. Regret and heartbreak will travel hand in hand with him on the long descent into nothingness. That concludes our coverage of the Open Championship. I'm Bruce Rooster Boyster, alongside Rory Harrison, Wishing you a fond farewell.